Features of the Sealmaster SP300 Dual. On the control panel, we have hydraulic power steering, uh, key switch to start the engine, toggle switch and push button switch for our water pump system, hour meter, engine management gauge. Uh, this is also part of the management system uh, that has to be pressed in when starting the engine. And then up here we have hydraulic controls. This is agitator, neutral, forward and reverse. And then we have the up and down uh, lever for the squeegee system, throttle, and then forward and reverse control lever. And then on this side of the panel we have our pump controls, pump speed control, and then the pump pressure control. And we can control variable pressure and volume with both of these controls. We have twin foot operated dump valves to supply the uh, squeegee box with its uh, material flow. Down here we have a hydraulic cylinder. This will angle the rear squeegee left or right. That's controlled by the uh, control valve uh, up on the side of the control tower there. We then have the spray bar. And then over here we have our sand pumper two material pump and the basket strainer. Material comes out of the tank through the main line here into the basket strainer. Uh, the pump then draws the material up into the chambers. This valve up here is used to supply the spray bar. And this is our on and off valve whenever we want to stop the material flow or start it. This valve is for pumping out. Uh, if we want to fill a drum or another tank, we'll use this valve. The valve down on the basket strainer, uh, this can be used to uh, fill a five gallon bucket or can be used for uh, sucking material out of a drum or another tank to fill up the squeegee machine. We then have the on off valve for our handheld uh, material hose and wand. And then this valve is what we call a recirculation valve. Uh, this allows material to flow back into the tank. The machine is powered by a 30 horsepower Kubota diesel engine. Uh, it runs the uh, hydraulic system. Uh, this is a rear wheel drive uh, machine. Both rear wheels drive the unit. Also located on this side is the diesel fuel tank. Located under it is one of the two 14 gallon water tanks. Also on this side then is our 12 volt water pump. And this supplies a uh, fogging nozzle which is located above that front tire. This is the water fogging nozzle which is used on very hot days to cool the pavement down a little bit. This is our power steering uh, motor and this turns the front tire almost a 90 degree angle. This unit here is the hydrostatic transmission. This controls forward and reverse of the machine. This is an auxiliary pump which supplies hydraulic oil to all the other functions. Power steering, up and down, agitator and our material pumping system. This is the hydraulic tank for the machine. This whole front assembly is all hydraulic oil, a breather for the hydraulic tank, and then we have a suction line hydraulic oil filter. And then located up here is the engine's battery. This is the fill for both of our water tanks and this uh, both tanks are connected together and they're filled through this uh, part here. This is the lead assembly for the machine anti-splash plate and our agitator system with rubber wipers. This machine features a round tank with full sweep agitation. And there are also rubber wipers on the blades to help keep the tank walls clean. With the engine now running, it's time to turn on the pumping system. I need to power up by turning on the toggle switch here. Then we come up to our pump speed control. 
and open it approximately three turns. This is my pressure control. On the product pump then is a pressure gauge where we're going to monitor pressure. So the pump is now recirculating product through the system. I need to close my recirculation valve and wait for the pump to stop pumping. We can tell that by the sound that it makes and also by the pressure gauge. The needle will stop moving. At that point then I can either open the valve that feeds our spray bar or if I'm going to use the hand wand, open that valve. This machine has a very tight turning radius. Uh, it's about a 90 degree angle. We can turn uh, practically in our own track.